Hi YouTube. Sorry about the the little um adjustment I'm making. Um so I'm here to talk about um um stress with school. The reason why I'm actually approaching this subject is because I've been for quite a few years upon approaching um this light is like all up in my face. Upon approaching um uh graduation in 09 I had quite a bit of a hard time actually um passing math to graduate and um unfortunately it took me there's a test called the uh CUNY compass exam and it's for algebra pre-algebra and algebra and that was something that oh like I had the worst to deal with pre-algebra passed the first time but the second time not so much and um the pre algebra I I've honestly I've taken that uh this time was my thirteenth time. Not every time I paid for it. Every, uh, if you get past a certain score closest to the score that you need to get to pass, you don't even have to worry about paying for it. So I was lucky there, but most the um I had issues with um I guess my study habits were terrible as far as math goes because I wasn't necessarily like as um in tune with um doing as much studying as I needed. I wasn't very strict about studying. And the thing is most subjects that I did pass, I didn't study much for because they those were my favorite things and I figured this approach this year here in 2011 that's almost over two years since I was last in school I figured now's the time to actually do better since you know you're going back to school do better in May I decided since I am going to register for September classes in May I started I got out my old workbook from the same class I kept it for all these years and I studied and I studied really really hard um, at some point I, it faltered, but I was able to pick myself up and get back on track and keep studying. Now in the class, I didn't do as great as I wanted to as far as, um, like the test or whatever. I passed two out of three, but it could have been better. So, um, with that said, um, just going through the whole onslaught, I was like, I know I can do better. I know I can do this to make a have faith in yourself and God has faith in you. I said that to myself the pre-exam because now my school has this thing where you have to take the pre-test to um, the pre-compass exam in order to qualify for the compass. And I did my best. I passed that. Woohoo! Passed it hands down. And I, I prayed to God that all I needed was the chance and I, to help me help myself study enough to get myself to the next round. And that's what I did. I passed and I got on to the next round, which was um, the compass. And I took that on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Rock out. I said to myself, Wednesday night, should I email my professor or should I not? Me and my friend, Mary, we just didn't know what to do with ourselves. We, we both had a question that we both got wrong and we just weren't sure what that would be. But I prayed that whatever the decision was, God give me the optimistic mind to go forward regardless and fight for what I really wanted. And that was to graduate. This is a degree I put in work for since 05. And I wanted it. This is mine. I deserved it. I want my degree with my name on it because I put my most money here. Most of my mom's money. But I put it. You understand? Um, I said, should I email him? I'm like, no, I'll wait till Friday because I can't handle bad news now. I know I've been through this so many times. And I've seen so many people go through it also. But my thing is, people at the pre-testing, when they realized that they had failed, they were destroyed. They were a lot of tears. But I figured 12 times before I took the compass, I had failed. So I've had to have relive that pain and their disappointment and their anguish so many times that seeing their tears I feel bad to a degree but I feel better for me is that sad to say N not to me because I, I fought every time I got yelled at by my mom you know my mom being such a good parent she wanted the best for me and she had hoped so many times over that I would do the best for myself and that's really 
what I thought about each step of the way that this is not just a degree for me. This is my mom's degree. I can't. It doesn't have her name on it, but this is a degree she believed in to help me help myself. Excuse me. And I can't knock that. Like I saw those tears of those other people, and I figured there were people who fought for their for this point, and there were people who didn't. And I fought. I I, I disciplined myself. I took. I stopped hanging out for the semester. Um, I did maybe one extracurricular thing this year. So far, once I realized I was going back to school. I, other than that, I didn't do much, and I did that more so for me to mentally prepare myself. Because if you want something, and you want your blessings to be heard and go through, you gotta give God some type of discipline. You gotta give God your discipline. You have to sacrifice in order to get onto. Um, something you actually want and I figured it was cursing that had to go and going out had to stop and I don't even go out like that but the thing is I'm very hard on myself when I know I have things to do and that's what I did I was hard on myself and I don't care people were like you don't go out you go out have fun for me you tell me how it was but right now I'm gonna be here studying that was my whole MO and I'm gonna stick to that because I have big dreams not big dreams that are unachievable I'm talking about dreams that are very attainable and I can actually see myself in 30 years looking at my business and saying, I did that, you know, I worked that up from the grit and I'm going up. A lot of people can't say that. So for me, passing part one was amazing. That was a milestone because I've never felt such joy. I cried when I got my paper saying that I was allowed to take the next step. And then when I got my results last night um, saying that I passed I was like what he said it's a 42 all you needed was a 40 I got two points extra whoa whoa he said I passed and I ain't mad at it like I feel like I earned so much of my degree especially now that um I actually I, I was proactive when he said that he checked it I said could you check that again and let me know if it's true and he emailed me this morning and said, yes, I double-checked it twice. It's you. And I didn't know what to do. I got on my knees and I thank God. Like, I guess people don't understand the anguish. I guess when you fail, 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 and then you succeed, it's just like, wow, did I really? Like, it took, that test took a year or so out of my life. And now I get to say I'm moving on to the next step which is get one more class or not to get me to my degree. Can I complain? I cannot. I cannot. And I ain't going to complain. I know I got on my knees and I cried like a baby. <laughs> I prayed and I thank God so much for him allowing me the chance to help myself. And then moving forward, I got to, um, I went in my room and told my mom she was half asleep. But that's all right. She back there in the picture. I don't know if y'all see it. She had a beautiful lady in the middle. Boop, boop. Um, I told her I passed and my mom was just said thank God like you know like it's something we went through together and we made it together I can't I really can't complain but um I'm I'm glad you know I passed and I can move forward on everything that I had prayed and hoped for and now I'll have a degree with my name on it that I earned and nobody can take away from me and I never thought in a million years that I would have a college degree all for me and that I can that would help me go on to get another and another and another listen I don't care what other people consider milestones in their life people have a lot more tolerance to go further and do whatever they got to do but I'm just getting to my beginning steps and I'm okay with that you understand I'm completely okay with that and I only look to bigger and brighter things I do I because I know there's more and I don't mind waiting you understand I don't mind putting the work in because I know that I can actually do it. I've seen myself putting that work that I needed to put in to actually get to the better part of everything. I'm I'm all there. I'm all there. And it's all what enough with. And I just want to share that YouTube. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. I had to share that. And our the next video will be about dyslexia. See you soon YouTube. Bye bye.